One of the joys of working with RenderWorks is rendering interior scenes that are lit by the sun through openings or windows. The light comes in and bounces off the interior surfaces and this results in subtle combinations of shades, shadows, and colors. What's even better is the ease with which this can be done. All that is needed is to place a helidon in the scene, adjust it for the best angle of light, and then simply render. Now let's take a look at the process. Open the file used in this exercise, building lobby day.vwx. It's in plan view, and the first thing we'll do is place a heliodon. So click in the visualization palette, and then select the heliodon tool, and now click in the scene to place the heliodon. Now we'll adjust the Heliodon settings for this exercise in this step and then later we'll take a look at modifying the settings for the best results. With the Heliodon selected, we'll go to the Object Info palette and click on the Settings button. In the Settings dialog box, make the following changes. For Region, enter USA. For City, enter Bangor. And now click OK. And then back in the Object Info palette, click on the Solar Animation button. And in the Solar Animation dialog box, make sure Heliodon is selected at the top. And now make the following changes. First, in the Time of Day area, make sure that the time of day is PM and not AM. And now make the other changes. Day, 4. Month, 2. Hour, 1 minutes 30. In other words, February 4th at 1.30 p.m. And now click OK. And now we're done making adjustments to the Heliodon for this tutorial. So let's take a look and see how the scene will render. Go to Saved View 2 and then render in the render work style Realistic Interior Fast. Now that we have the basic rendering, there are a few things we can do to tweak the lighting for better results. First, let's see if adjusting the position of the Heliodon will improve the lighting. Let's render in OpenGL first so that we can observe the position of the sunlight immediately. The speed of OpenGL rendering is important here. And by the way, if you're not seeing shadows after rendering in OpenGL, you'll need to arrange the OpenGL settings to display shadows. So to do that, go to View rendering OpenGL options and arrange the settings as shown here and by the way these settings also control other features as well detail high use textures is selected use anti-aliasing is selected use shadows also selected and then change the quality to high and click OK to finish now let's adjust the position of the Heliodon. The Heliodon object is still selected, so go to the Object Info palette and click on the Solar Animation button at the bottom, or near the bottom. In the Solar Animation dialog box, move the day and hour sliders to adjust the position of the Heliodon and of the shadows. And be aware that OpenGL does not display light bouncing from one surface to the next, so the image will appear darker than when it's rendered in one of the RenderWorks styles. Once you've found a suitable position for the Heliodon, click OK, and now render in Realistic Interior Fast. There's one more easy adjustment we can make, and that is changing the strength of the Heliodon's light. In some cases, with sunlit interiors, Increasing the Heliodon's brightness can make a, a significant difference in the quality of the lighting because just bringing more light into the scene bouncing around from one surface to the next can create a much nicer rendering. So the Heliodon is still selected. Go to the Object Info palette and in the Sun Brightness data field enter 200 and then hit the Tab key or the Return or Enter keys. 
The scene is currently rendered, so it will re-render as soon as the keys are pressed. And now as soon as the scene renders, you will see the difference right away in the quality of the rendering and the amount of light that is represented in it. Here's a scene with a heliodon brightness at 100, and here it is with the brightness at 200. The difference is, is even more pronounced when the scene is rendered with realistic interior final, which increases the number of light bounces between adjacent surfaces. So you can see that lighting an interior with the sun is actually a simple business with RenderWorks. The key points are to have a heliodon with the correct adjustments to bring light into the interior of the space in such a way that light bounces around the surfaces inside the room. And also, by the way, don't forget that shadows can add a great deal of interest to the scene. And finally, adjust the heliodon's brightness to improve the rendering if that's necessary. Sometimes making the scene brighter simply by making the sun brighter is all that you need to do.